Hi, good morning Ryan. My name is Mahira. I'm your invigilator for the OIT speaking session on the 22nd of March 2022. How are you doing? Hi, good morning. I'm good. Thank you for asking. How about you? Well, I'm great. Can you tell me your full name for the record, please? My full name is Ryan Trenton. And what is your candidate number, please? My candidate number is 24082187. Thank you. And you are taking this test as a nurse. Is that correct? Yes, correct. Thank you. Can I see your ID, please? Sure. Here it is. The warm-up questions are not assessed and are a chance for us to get used to each other's voices. We'll just talk for two to three minutes. All right. How do you create a rapport with other nurses and doctors? I love working on a team with a sense of purpose. And being part of any healthcare team has always given me true meaning and incentive. I try to remain selfless, flexible, and dependable. When a fellow nurse once asked me to look after her patient for an hour while she attended to a personal emergency, I ran over to the hospitalist to get briefed on the patient and I was then able to care for him, in addition to the other two patients, under my care, by forgoing my lunch hour. Of course, the team was very grateful, and they knew, they'd do the same for me. How do you handle the stress of the job? I find, the best way to handle the stress of the job, is through meticulous organization, and attention to detail. By making lists and prioritizing, what needs to get done, throughout my day, I find that, Tasks which might seem overwhelming, all at once, are much more manageable. This also makes it possible for me, to stay calm, and remain focused on, what needs to get done, when unexpected situations arise. What do you find is the hardest part about being a nurse? I think the hardest thing I've had to deal with is feeling helpless. While it's my job to provide as much care, and comfort as medically possible, there are times, when you just can't do more. Seeing someone in pain, or feeling miserable, and knowing there's nothing you can do to help, is the most difficult thing I deal with. I am a nurse, because I genuinely care about people, and want to help, and when I can't, that's hard. How do you ensure, you remain up to date, on advances in nursing? I use several approaches to remain up to date. Along with continuing education courses, I subscribe to several industry publications, to learn more about what's on the horizon. I also follow thought leaders on social media, giving me additional insights, and converse with my network regularly, to find out about their discoveries. When you don't have an answer to a patient's question, what do you do? If I don't know the answer, my first step is to let the patient know, I need time to get the information they need. Then, I'll use a combination approach, conducting research on my own, while also conferring with colleagues with expertise in that arena. Along with ensuring, I have a thorough understanding of the answer, this allows me to develop a sound way, to relate to the patient, increasing overall accuracy, and understanding. Great. Thank you very much for sharing that. So, let's move on to role play now. I'll take the part of the patient, or perhaps a relative, and you'll take your professional role. The purpose of the role play is to get evidence of your ability to communicate effectively with patients. Use your ability to fulfill as much of the role play as possible. Do you have any questions? No, Mahira. You have up to three minutes to prepare the role play. You will start the role play after that time. I'll let you know when the three minutes are up. You can ask me if there's anything you are not sure about, and you can make notes on the role playing card if you want to. Here's a pencil for making notes. Thank you. You can look at the card during the test, but you must return it to ma'am at the end of the test. Please start preparing now. Thank you.
your preparation time is over. You can now start your OIT speaking role play. Don't worry if I stop you, when the time is up. Thank you Mihira, for allowing me to examine your calf. For my better understanding, could you please tell me, more details about your rash? Sure. Well, I only noticed the rash this morning. It's not painful, but it's a bit itchy. Alright. Have you ever had a rash like this before? No. This is for the first time, I am noticing one. I never had a rash like this before. Okay, may I know, if you have any allergies? No nurse. I don't have any allergies as well. Great. Thank you for sharing the details. Based on my assessment, and the information you have provided, your rash is diagnosed as ringworm. For your knowledge, I will explain it. Okay. Mihira, ringworm is a fungal skin infection, which is caused by parasites, not worms. It is a highly contagious fungal infection of the skin, or scalp. Ringworms will spread by skin-to-skin -skin contact. Alright. But nurse, I would like to know, how you can be sure, it's ringworm, and not something else. I appreciate your question. Definitely, I will explain to you, how I come to the conclusion. Mihira, the first and foremost thing about my clinical opinion is that, it is based on the symptoms you have. In addition, the circular appearance of it, resembles that of a ringworm. It is unbelievable. I don't understand, how I could have gotten ringworm. I can understand, how difficult it might be for you to accept this Mihira. For your understanding, let me explain, how ringworm spreads. Yes, you may please. Mihira, the major and common way of spreading ringworm is by, direct contact with infected human beings or animals. It can also transfer via indirect contact with objects, such as, hair, bedding, clothing, etc. Don't be overly concerned about this. It is treatable, Mihira. I will provide information about the treatment option to you. Yes, I want to know about it, nurse. Okay. Ringworm is usually treated with 2-3 weeks of an over-the-counter antifungal cream. By this, it will be cured. Well, Mihira, do you have any questions, that I need to clarify? Yes, nurse, I have. Of course. You may please ask. Nurse, I am a performing arts student. And you know, I have to be at a dance show next week. But as you said, if it is contagious, I am really concerned that, I won't be able to perform next week. I realize, how important it is for you, to participate in the dance show. Mihira, I will definitely help you. You have to follow some recommendations very strictly, and you need to be very cautious as well, in order to prevent the spread. I will explain the precautionary measures, that you need to follow. Alright, that's fine. Mihira, it is very essential that, you need to avoid close contact until the end of treatment. It is to prevent spreading, and to ensure avoiding further contagion. Okay, I got it. Apart from this, I would like to provide further recommendations as well. Please refrain from sharing towels, which will spread the infection. Kindly wash the clothes with antifungal soap, to make them infection free. It is also very important to keep the area clean and dry. All right, nurse. Mihira, make sure to see the doctor, if there is no response to the medication, or even if more widespread has been noticed. Sure, nurse, I will follow these recommendations. That's perfect. Do you have any further concerns? No, nurse, it is clear to me. I hope, I have clarified all the information for you. Always, feel free to contact us for any further queries. I wish you a speedy recovery. Thank you, nurse. That is the end of your OIT speaking role play. All the best. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please, like this video and encourage us. Subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Kindly comment your suggestions and help us do better.